we actually just did two months in Miami where we got to know some of the residents of pork and beans. And this morning we both got texts to tell us that TK, somebody that we, um, we spend a lot of time with, like every time we went back to the pork and beans, TK embraced us, walked around with us. We learned that he was killed this morning um, right in front of his mom's house and and I just, it just kind of set our day different um, it's something that we haven't been able to, sh to what's up Karen it's something that we haven't been able to shake all day because he was just writing to us last night <laughs> Actually, he was writing to you last night. Um, and only to hear this morning at around 11 o'clock that he was shot in front of his mother's house 45 minutes before the text. Prior. Prior to the text. Oh, TK um, lived, was a life that he could not get out of no matter what he did no matter the amount of people who spoke to him i spoke to him i mean i keep getting texts from from friends of his who saw us together um they keep reaching out to us to inform us of his death and we're like you know we, we heard but they're saying tk talked about meeting us all day yesterday he kept sending um what, would he, what was he sending? It was... So TK wanted to work on... Apart from the video which we had decided would have a message against gun violence. He wanted to work on a petition for felony Second Amendment rights. Which is to say, to, to move to make it so that any felon who was a non-violent felon would get to keep his Second Amendment rights. So for the three months that we were spending time with TK, I was after him to send me this research that he had done so that I could help him put the petition together because he wanted to um, sort of release it with the music videos, what we talked about. And I couldn't get him to share anything. And all of a sudden, last night, I start getting back to back to back to back messages of TK with sc screenshots and notes on what he'd been thinking, history that he'd found, information that he was using that he wanted to put together for this petition. Did you, did you, I mean, we both met TK. I don't, I don't think that TK believed he had a choice. That, that was my question. Right. I believe when we talked to Nat and he says he heard me, but he didn't want out because I, I believe that what he thought his life had to be was that. He knew what it looked like already. And there wasn't going to be anything outside of that. I don't, we said this this morning. My dad asked on the phone, you know, a question. I don't remember exactly what it was, but about the idea of getting out of the life. And it's not necessarily that he was trying to get out of the life because he wasn't, for all that he appreciated about us being there, he wasn't trying to use us to help him get out. Right. He wanted his life as it was. That was clear. I think he just also wanted, in addition, these other things as a part of his life. He said it himself. There, there were elements about him that were invisible to the outsider. So he was TK the killer, TK the thug, TK the felon, TK the whatever he was. And not necessarily, like he said, TK the intellectual because he likes to read a lot. Yes. TK the activist because he's interested in felony rights. Things like that. Disenfranchisement. History. TK the artist. TK the artist. Right. And I don't think that one is true over the other. I don't think he was trying to escape one with the other. I think that they were all part of TK. what he was. And I don't... And I think because he was able to construct that for him, all of his language and, and constructions around love and survival and loyalty and the role that those played in a life made it so that even if... If he wanted to think of a life outside of that, the way that Nut did, ultimately, he didn't feel like he had to because it was there already. 
Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When we asked him the question, what did you ask him? Um, how do you sleep at night after you've killed somebody? So and sleep? for him, he said that's the best sleep of his life. Because he knows, he doesn't think of it as, I got up today and I killed somebody. He thinks of it as, I saved this person or that person. Because once you see that person, you know someone's going to die. It's just a question of who. Right. So you didn't kill that dude. You saved your best friend. Right. And you sleep well that night as a result. Right. So for him, it wasn't, what was it to come out of? If he was going to come out of it, Nut said the same thing. He was most dangerous when he was thinking about saving everybody else at the expense of his own safety. Right. Because for him cool if he would have left pork and beans and gone to do whatever else the people he loved stayed in pork and beans he was going to leave them to die the right. way he saw it that's right. not love that's not loyalty and those are fundamentally the values that he holds in his life that he held in his life so you know it was one of the first things that we said when we heard is somebody is going to have the best sleep of their night to, of their of their life tonight right because he's because he's, he's gone, gone. Because it, like gone big, not even a little gone. That was like. I mean, the entire the entire pork and beans right now is yeah. in tears. Um, TK was TK was a big face, a big name in the pork and beans. Mm -hmm. um, and he was what only twenty six, twenty seven. Yeah. He was he was a kid. He had only been out. Of, he built that community in two years. He went in to prison when he was fifteen, and he came out two years ago. He was out two years. Um, I believe that a TK could have been saved. Othello on the beat. I never thought that I was ready for it I felt I needed more wins and gold medals for it I always dreamed about the top and now I'm headed for it No, I'm holding faith is way more than what my heart can scorch I'm just trying to get hotter than Papa Bear's porch Buy a couple bottles and tell all of my friends pour it Set my bitch down and let the scripts dance for it She only here tonight to let her know that her man is for Cut us at the money flip and stick the landing for him And they appreciate everything I did for him I took my prison time, showed them how I killed for him That's why before I made it, I was out here swinging still for him I graduated from streets of cold blood Murder scenes, AIDS patients, rape victims and no love Was walking with that moon like clutching a cold snub Was feeding for a body, was taught it was hood love I'm just saying though, I know you got my plans though Tell grandma that I miss her, I felt that you was my fan bro We steady slinging missiles, we miss you, this one the plan bro I'm thinking about the team way like when they letting my mans go Granted, this shit come with this life, but we gon' stand though. Of course, we only stand for what's right. Some crit my man though. I love whoever loyal to me. You keep that fam show. Dog every day, she in the service. Knowing how that shit going down, they got me nervous. I ain't never played this scared on the block, and that's what hurt me, man. I really shed the tears for my dog. That was the worst shit. Knowing God made me with flaws, I'm far from perfect. See a man when I look in that mirror that I can work with. I know I got a story to preach, man. I can church this. This blood, sweat, and steps of a king, all in these verses. Could write it down, you wouldn't get it perfect if you rehearsed this, man. You trying to cross the sea behind Moses, where you gon' blow this. A time when they letting our clergy ain't throwing floaters. You gon' drown, time to walk on this wall. Without this boat, yeah. Cool, tell me, kid, be patient. Swear this your boat, yeah. I just need a kayak and pedal something to cope with. Rapping down these rivers of dreams, stacks left me hopeless. I'm confused when he's sending those birdies, saying stay focused. Rory gave me self motivation, it kept me toting. Ted say I ain't been a true fan, man. I choke him, losing conscious, trying to boof up with Sav. We always smoking. The guards got a pat loot twice, he always poking. Keep thinking that this shit all rap, man. I ain't joking. You niggas know what time it is. 